Hello everyone, welcome to Tissuepedia. In today's video, we will be continuing our work from sensor data and using that data, we will dump that into a real-time database called Firebase. As you can see, I have opened Firebase console and you can open by going on console.firebase.google.com. In the Firebase, I created a project called IoT Data and then for IoT data I will be using its link and from that link I will create a Firebase application in my in my Raspberry Pi Python code and send the data from ESP8266 and then after getting the data on Raspberry Pi I will send that data to Firebase real-time database and as you go into the real-time database you will see these four tabs in the data we will be seeing our data incoming data in the rules you have to change some rules like reading and writing which is like giving access to firebase to x to get the data and to read from it you will have to change from false to true and you have to copy this url and you will be pasting this url in Firebase application in Raspberry Pi. So let's now jump into Raspberry Pi and code this thing out. And now we are in Raspberry Pi and before starting to code Firebase work in our sensor data Python file, uh, we need to install Python Firebase. So using this command we can easily install Python Firebase library and we can access that into our Python code. So as you can see I have already installed that library and you can import that using from Firebase import Firebase and then you have to create a Firebase application and in the first parameter you will be mentioning your copy copied link from Firebase uh, which you have created for your project so I have paste my project link here and then the second parameter is none and then the rest of the code is almost the same and on the on connect we are mentioning our subscribe topics name and then on message arrive we are actually checking and saving those temperature and humidity values in our variables and then after we get that value we will post that data in form of a dictionary so we will have so we now have a dictionary of two variables value 1 and value 2 which contain temperature value and humidity value and we are sending that in, in form of a dictionary this first parameter is like mentioning your key like uh, I'm mentioning like sensor slash DST just to remember what kind of data is coming and then the rest of the case code is same we are calling those function and then we are just looping and waiting for the incoming message from ESP266 so let's just run it and seeing our result on Firebase real-time database so I have just run my Python code and you can see the incoming message from ESP266, the temperature value and the humidity value. Now let's check these value on real-time database. And we are getting its value in form we are we get all we already get three values of humidity and temperature and it's real time. You can see your data and you can use this data on any web application or mobile application so that's how you use sensor data and you push that data on real-time database so now our cycle is complete we initially get the data from ESP and then send to our server and then from that server we send that data to a cloud first and then to a real-time database so this is how a typical IoT cycle works you get the data from a client you send the data to a server and then you can save that data to a cloud or to a database I hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like subscribe my channel thank you so much